From designing cafes to shaping surfboards, Matt Gillette is a Gold Coast innovator with an abundance of ideas. Everything I do is a solution to some kind of problem. So we still run with the 32 amp. It's a new idea. It's one of the best ideas I've had. It's something the world hasn't seen yet. And I think, yeah, once it comes out, it should be a hit. Hi guys, my name's Matt and I'm here today to ask for a $150,000 investment in my footwear concept, the two shoe, for a 40% stake. With that money, it goes go to finalising production samples, securing a manufacturing partner and start a marketing campaign. I'll now demonstrate a situation of where it may be used. Mate, not in those songs. Come on, mate. So as you're aware, some days you might go down to the pub for an afternoon beer <laughs> and you get carried away with your friends. He's all end up decide to go out to town. So with this the two-shoot concept, you simply unflip, unclip, I mean, and then you flip. So right becomes left and left becomes right. So you fold the song down like that. Just seals back in. And then your shoe pops up. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to show up like this. What a that's genius, the mate. That's yeah, genius. That's eh? like a As you're aware, this is just this is just one style. Um, it also can be used as, as many different styles. And then you come through. Feel good, mate. Cheers, bud. <laughs> Thanks Cheers. a lot. <laughs> and come back. Oh, very good. Oh, very oh, good. Well done. Yeah, well done. Oh, yeah. That's Aussie ingenuity. Yeah. So anything to get into a bar, right? Yeah, mate. So currently in Australia, there's over uh, the seventy million dollar market in mid to high range price thong sandals or, or open toe footwear. I believe with this concept, in the first year, I could sell around ten thousand pairs. That'd give you a gross profit of around three hundred twenty thousand dollars. That's only just limited to the stores that I currently have contacts with. So I believe with your guys' help and contacts, we could take it to a global market and take it the next step and make it the future of footwear. OK. So you're looking for $150,000 for 40% of your company, valuing it at $375,000. Yeah, 40% for $150,000. You said, I've got contacts, I can do it, yeah. I've got experience in this. Can you tell me a little bit about your background then, please? OK, so I create concepts for different alcohol companies, surf brands, which, which like, displays their products, point of sale stuff. It's also, I've got a clothing brand, and we ju only just launched yesterday. So, um, and that's going really well. It's, it sold 100% of the stores it sold into. Then how have you got time to do this? I just find time. I've been working like 22 hours a day for the last month. So you're a designer and creator of concepts and designs. That's yeah. what you really are, yeah. rather than maybe a business guy. Is yeah. that a fair I, assessment? I run my own business, which is really profitable. But you've got a clothing company, now you've got the shoe business. Yeah. I'm already confused, nervous that I'm going to well, get well, any is... bit of your bandwidth. I mean, I know you're, you're pretty talented, but I mean, are you superhuman? You've obviously got this great, curious mind. So then how um, do we keep your focus on us, though? What happens is, like, you guys are looking at this one idea. I have, like, 20 in the background. I have another That's six. That's the point, though, right? Yeah, but I have another six patents. You have a patent? Yeah, I have a 15-year patent on it. But until I get through and finish a product until it's done, that's it. I just concentrate on one thing at a time. Let's get serious about the numbers. What are we going to sell them for? I say if we go to the mid-high price range on the model this would have to be, you're going to sell them, they're going to retail for 99 
So, so, sorry? They're going to retail $99. for $99. My runners don't cost me 99 bucks. Yeah, well, that's because you're wearing crap runners. <sighs> thongs can go for forty nine ninety five. I think yeah, the price well, is probably about right. If you go on the surf market, normal thongs, just like them thongs there, forty nine ninety five. God, it's worse than lipstick. If it's a brand, it's fine. <laughs> In the first year, without any of you guys' help, I could sell 10,000 pairs, OK? When we went to, to get production costs, it was $17 a pair. If you go and wholesale them for $49, that's where you get your $320,000 profit in the first year. You're obviously a, a, a huge gold mine of creativity. I'm sure some of the products that you've got have and will be successful. But, you know, to me, it's a licensing deal, it's a product. I, I, I would be nervous about investing with you simply because I just didn't, I wouldn't feel I could pin you down. So, I, I sorry, great salesman, but I, I have no comfort I'd get my money back, mate. I'm sorry, okay. I'm out. Hey, uh, Matt, I'm a fashion tragic. I just don't think they look very good, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very innovative what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. And I love your story, but mate, I, I am I am out and I wish you all the best. Okay, no worries. Cheers, mate. What's up? Yeah, look, I, I do like you're a, a radical thought man and, and uh, you need to team up with someone who is going to allow and free you up and allow you to do that creative side. Uh, and be your business partner that's going to, to take you on the journey and put the disciplines in place on any of your businesses. And I, we're still trying to work out what business you're in, uh, yeah. as well as the rag trade. Yeah. Um, my biggest concern that it's a gimmick. It's a great, a great idea, but I think it, you, you'd buy it and you probably wouldn't use it. Look, I wish you luck. I, I'm out. OK, cheers, mate. <laughs> uh, Matt, here's the thing about this product. Yeah. No customer has said to you, I will pay money for this product. And for that reason, I'm out. Cheers, thanks a lot. How much money is the t-shirt business going to make? Um, first quarter, it will probably turn over 240. Probably make 120 profit. And then I guess it just watch it grow from there. If I was an investor in your t-shirt company yep. and we just launched, I would be going to you, you've got a new idea, why aren't I getting a piece of that? Um, I'll make you an offer. But it is subject to the whole business, including not the point of sale business, yeah. but the t-shirt business and this business, every single patent you've got, and any other idea you ever have in the future. Yep. It has to, it has to be all of it. No way! What the... Uh Gillette is seeking $150,000 for his range of adaptable footwear. Four sharks are out, but Janine has made a radical offer. It is subject to the whole business, including not the point of sale business, yep. but the t-shirt business and this business, every single patent you've got, and any other idea you ever have in the future. Yep. It, has to, it has to be all of it. No way! What the... Uh... The, the, the deal is I'm actually investing in you. Yeah, I understand that, yeah. I'll give you $150,000 for 25% of, of you. So basically, Janine's buying 25% of all your good ideas and your future for 150000 Your future in the sense of... And every other patent you come up with. I'm just making sure he's clear on it. Don't think that all these new ideas won't come with funding. I mean, oh, we'll have not... to find money, we'll yeah. have to do this, but I'm, what I'm saying is the journey together to get in is to buy these business, we'll buy it, we grow it, we sell it. But I don't want you to suddenly go off and create another product and then you lose all focus. I'm not interested in a split focus. If 
for someone to invest in your whole future, that's massive to me. Yeah, so. you're buying a future. You're buying a put. So you give, you're actually giving me a future, so I'd love, to, I'd love to take that off of Wow! Oh, OK, well, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Janine's got herself a, a, a uh, R&D so incubator. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. The R&D incubator. I just wasn't clever enough to keep up with you. No. Nah. Oh, well, well, well done. You're a hard shark. You're going to be great on the incubator. Congrats, mate. That's, that's, a, that's a bargain. This guy's a, a walking uh, think tank. Ideas man. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. I've got my cheese. No, she's bought a put. Yeah, she's bought, she's bought, bought a she put has. and a call on someone's future. An interesting yeah, idea. Also, those, those last six patents, I wonder what's in them. Wow, Matt, what a result. You went in there looking for investment in your shoes and you got an investment in you. That's amazing. Uh, I think we can bring a lot to each other's lives. And, um, Thanks a lot. Yeah, I hope, I hope she, I'll make her more successful and I'm sure she's going to make me a lot more successful in my life. Great result. Best okay. of luck for the future. Thanks a lot. See you, bud. See ya.